Now when drawing monsters, you've probably noticed that you get the fur just right, and then you add the eye spots, and they just look like nostrils. So we're going to get around that today by drawing the fur just right, and then instead of spots, we'll put two circles for the eyes. Now we'll have to erase a little bit of the fur, and then the eye spots can go in there like pupils, and that gives the monster a really nice intense stare, which is great in monsters. With a little practice, we can actually draw the eyes first and then bring the fur out in all directions around them. And this is a level one monster, just two staring eyes, surrounded by all that fur. Kind of cute. Of course, a level two monster has those two circles and two eye spots and then eyebrows. So we'll bring these eyebrows out and flare them at the ends to give it a little character. Then we'll bring the fur all the way around and there's an intense monster stare. Level two monster. Let's try that again. Two circles, two spots, and this time we'll try bringing the eyebrows down, darken around those eyes. Now we'll bring the fur all the way around that's a different kind of a stare. Let's try a third one. We'll give it goofy eyes pointing in different directions. We'll make the eyebrows point in different directions. And then the fur, we can do long fur, short fur. That's got some character to it. And you can see the difference in these level two monsters. Oh, by the way, a little monster terminology. A monster with a pair of legs is called a biped. That's bi meaning two, think bicycle, right? And ped meaning foot, think pedal. And a monster with a pair of legs and a pair of arms is called a quadruped. That's quadra meaning four. Think quadrant or quarter. And of course, a monster with, uh, um, hmm, well, that's a polyped, uh, I guess. Poly meaning many. Anyhow, level three monsters. We have the eyes. We'll do the eyebrows. We'll bring the fur around. The difference with a level three monster can have legs and arms like any other monster, but it also has this line here. We'll erase the fur. We'll add in some teeth and we have a mouth. Let's try that again. Different kinds of shapes, different eyebrows, different fur. We'll add that line and sharp teeth this time. It's a level three monster. It's got the mouth. Now this one is a biped apparently. Okay, we'll try that again with this one. We'll give it some goofy eyes. Let its mouth go a little long here. Add the fur. Let's make the mouth a little longer. Add a couple teeth. Oh, there we go. And there's our quadruped long jaw. Level four monsters, on the other hand, they have the eyebrows. We'll add a little detail around the eyes. Add a mouth. And level four will have the mouth open. You'll see these teeth on both sides fur on all sides here. We'll give them some toes. Let's try that again. We'll make a monster facing off. Now the mouth can be wide open or it can be narrow. The teeth can be sharp or round or square or any shape really. The longer the fur, the older the monster. Oh, did you notice that in the eyes? That is key. Let's go into a slow-mo close-up. That's right, adjusting the grip on his pencil. He goes in for the circles. He's got the circle for one eye. Here's the circle for the other eye. He's going in and watch this instead of he draws two new circles that enables him to go in and adjust his grip again. And he leaves a white circle at the top of the first pupil. He colors in the bottom, and he's going to leave that part white. You just watch. He's going to circle around dog-like to the other pupil and make the same play again. Here he goes. Top white, bottom black. It puts a gleam on those pupils. Look at that gleam. It's a lively stare from those monster's eyes. Back to you. Now this one is clearly fourth level. We'll give it nice, sharp, curving fangs. Boy, those eyes are really bright. Boy, that fur is really long. Oh, now here, if we do the arm here, it's floating out of the mouth, so we can't do it there. We'll have to move it down, and that gives our monster sort of a crooked posture, which is kind of crazy looking, actually. We'll do short legs. Here's another little deluxe feature you can do. If you black in the back of the mouth, it really looks like it's open and shadowy. Let's make it a little darker there. That's pretty effective. We'll bring the other side of the mouth down. And now it's a gaping maw. Hmm, kind of want to go back and do that on all these level four monsters, even adding tongues in and things like that. Level four. Of course, level five. We've got the eyebrows, we've got the fur, open mouth, teeth. We've got the dark, the tongue, legs and arms and claws, five has horns coming up like this, 
sometimes even a tail. We'll put spikes along the tail because five has all these accessories on it. So let's see what we can do. We'll, we'll even darken around these eyes a little bit. Give them some expression. Maybe they're not all smiling. We'll have it curved down. Put some nice round teeth in. Sometimes you erase the side of the mouth and let the tongue hang out in some crazy angle. The more dark you put into that mouth, the bigger and wider it seems, the bigger and deeper it seems. We've got some nice long fur here. Bring some legs down now. This monster creeps along with its hands on the ground. Nice hairy tail here. I think we've got room for some supersized horns. I like putting those stripes on the horns, helps you see them. And of course, some of these monsters go in and tie all sorts of things to their horns, little skulls and bones, and that's monster jewelry for you. Some of them really get into uh, bow ties, apparently. That's getting dangerously close to a level six monster, so I think we'll stop there for today. Anyhow, if you'd like to learn a little more about monsters, grab yourself a pencil and a piece of paper and draw some of your own. Also, consult your local Universal Monsterpedia, preferably untranslated in the original rabbit, and let us know what you find. Back over to you, Rancor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>